from the Fairmont Hotel in the heart of Silicon Valley, it's theCUBE, covering When IoT Met AI, the intelligence of things. Brought to you by Western Digital. Welcome back everybody, Jeff Rick here with theCUBE. We're in downtown San Jose at the Fairmont Hotel at a small little conference, very intimate affair, talking about IoT and AI, the intelligence of things, when IoT met AI. And they've got a cool little startup um, kind of expo hall and we're excited to have our next guest here from that. It's Mike Wilson, he's the CEO of Bright Things. Mike, welcome. Good to be here, Jeff, how Absolutely. are you Absolutely, so Bright Things, what are Bright Things? Bright Things are intelligent plugs, power strips, wall sockets, anything that fits into the plug load space. It learns users' behavior and then provides them an intelligent on-off schedule. The, the goal here is to turn stuff off when it's on and not being needed. Right. So wasted energy, nights and weekends in the workspace, for example. It sounds like such a simple thing. Totally. But we were talking before we turn the cameras on, is actually has giant economic impact in building maintenance, which yep. is a huge category. And as you said, I'll let you kind of break down the numbers as to where sure. that energy is being spent and the impact that you guys are having. Well, our customers are building owners and operators, and they, they pay an electrical bill to run that building. It's a cost of running the building. About 27% of it goes to lighting, about 38% goes to heating and cooling, and all the rest goes through plug loads. And where we come to the market is, of course there's huge lighting companies, famous names, same with HVAC, but no one's doing anything about plug loads. And the reason is, is because plug loads are distributed, they're hard to control. And so what we bring to the market is a product that is small, inexpensive, and can suddenly give owners and operators all the control that they enjoy with lighting and HVAC over their plug loads. So it's kind of like Nest in that it, it takes a relatively simple function. Now, because of the cloud, because of the internet, you can add a lot more intelligence into a relatively, I don't want to say dumb device, but the device itself doesn't have to have that much power because you can put the application somewhere else. Exactly, so if you would just imagine, you're sitting here with me right now, probably at your workplace and at home, there's a bunch of stuff turned on, you're not using it, but you're right. spending money to keep it powered up, and that's causing CO2 to be generated at a power plant down the road. So that's bad for your pocket, it's bad for the environment. So if we can automatically turn that stuff off, then people don't have to worry about it. We can measure it. So here's where the money is. Right. Not only energy savings, but data. So I can tell you when you turn your stuff on and off, so that means human presence. When you're at work, there's a value to that. Um, if you're going to put a floor of an office building out there and heat it or light it, we can tell you if people are there or not. So you can look at that and make and save even more money. Right. Uh, we've got one customer that uses our product for inventory management. If it plugs in, you can see it on our screen, and you can see if it's on or off, if it's connected, and how it's running. So that kind of data ends up being valuable not only for energy savings, because we turn stuff on and off, but human presence, inventory control, uh, the list goes on and on. Our customers actually every day are coming up with new ways to use our device. Right, and just for the baseline savings, you just basically plug it in and turn it on, and you're in, you're reporting some huge savings just by just the basic operation of your strips versus it, a regular strip. Exactly, yeah. so just imagine this device is learning your behavior. So that's part of our, you know, that's kind of our core competency here is, is these devices measure the amount of energy you're using. When you're not using something, it's, it goes into standby mode or sleep mode, then we turn that off to save you the money. But the way we're able to do that is using artificial intelligence to learn patterns. You take those patterns and you can basically guess the best optimized schedule for your devices to be turned and off, right. on and off. So if you imagine you've got 100,000 employees, 100,000 different schedules, this thing has to be smart and it can't affect worker productivity. Right. So we have to be smart enough to know when to turn it on before you come into work, when to turn it off to save you the max amount of money, and be able to measure all of that so you can roll that up and say how much money you're saving, how much CO2 are you, are you reducing. Right. You know, so sustainability officers love our product too. So do you integrate with other types of, of uh, intelligence systems in that space, the lightings yeah. and, and, and the HVAC? Exactly, so one of the most important things is I've got a portfolio and is my office building is a portfolio of devices and systems, so just one of them is our plug load management, right? So I want to be able to see my plug load in my current control panel. So we've got APIs where our cloud technology is able to take that reporting and stick it into, for example, a Lucid control panel. 
Um, we're working with Train right now to integrate their back, uh, backnet solution for their building control management right, so that right. their customers are able to see lighting, HVAC, and plug Just load on the same old screen and, and operating tools that they've always used. Right, right. What's kind of the typical ROI that you pitch people just for the straight up money savings that they're going to get? We got our foot in the door by saying, we can reduce your plug load costs a minimum of 30%. And what we're seeing on average is about 40 to 45%. Wow. It's now a where, huge, do you, where, huge do you, where do you go next? Well, <laughs> conquer the world. <laughs> you know, so imagine this. Anywhere in the commercial office space, where there's a plug, so let your mind go. Right. How many power strips are out there? Right, right. How many We're of those using about 20 of them yeah, right here. Yeah, so just, you know, <laughs> every person at every desk is a potential customer. Every time there's a coffee maker or a break room, a fax machine, you know, any piece of equipment that's plugged in, we can save you money. Vending machines, we have a, a customer with these you know, raise and lower desks, Crazy. They want to just. See, they don't want to save energy. They want to know who's using them, and how often. Right. Right. Our device can do that right. too, and that's that data I was telling you about. And once you start collecting data of how people use plugged-in devices, I'm collecting information about you, how you use your laptop, how you use your charger, how the, often. Because the signature on the draw is different depending you on got the it. activity of the exactly. device. Exactly. I love this. You know, it's so funny because the second-order impact of the of all these types of things is so much more significant than people give it credit. I think it's about the data. Yeah, and our customers just love that because the data gives them control. And when you have control, cost savings. And is it just commercial, or are you sell them for regular retail customers as well? Or I imagine someday it? in the future that's a that's a potential. But you know, our focus right now, because the big problem out there is that buildings use forty percent of all the energy energy generated in the United States, and commercial space is the big opportunity because nights and weekends, right. stuff should be turned off and we can right. do that right now. Right. We're Buildings in the market big, doing it. Big POs. Yep. <laughs> All right, Michael, it sounds like exciting stuff. I uh, can't wait till I can get one at Best Buy or uh, Office Depot or something. Come into a store near you or www.brightthings.com. All right, thanks a lot. He's Mike Wilson. Save some energy, get one of these things when they're available, or at least tell the boss to get one at the office. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, I'm Jeff Frick, you're watching theCUBE, when IoT meets AI in San Jose, California. Thanks for watching.